Today I'm just going to attempt to put them in. Um, never done them before, so here's a shot. Now, this is what I mean by they don't work. They're lifeless. And when you're working under there, your head's going to get chomped like an alligator. I don't know what I'm trying to do with this, but here I am. Now, just a reminder, so this is the door card. I'll put the, pull the door card off. The airbag is inside the door. I'm cautious about touching that, to be honest. Um, I thought it would have been the door card, but it's actually inside the door, so the door card is safe to take off. Uh, pull the window rig and motor out and send that away for refurb. Um, the soft top, which we spoke about, we're replacing the whole unit. So, fingers crossed, that's going to fit. Is it going to? Probably not, knowing my luck, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. But it is totally shagged. Now, I've never done one, I've never changed these before, these bonnet struts, so um, I have no idea what tools I need, but uh, let's have a crack. So first thing I'm going to use is the, uh, the secure clamp. And this will clamp one side while I can do the other side, because they're going to fail anyway, so I might as well clamp one side and secure one side. You can see by doing that, it ensures that that's safe and locked in. And that'll make sure it doesn't slide down, holds that piece secure in that location. And that allows us to then work on this one, which I've never done before. Now, if we open this box up, it's quite a big box for a, uh, what I imagine to be a small little arm. Tiny. <laughs> Absolutely tiny. Totally unnecessary for a, uh, a box that big, but here we are. Now to remove, I'd imagine there's going to be that clip in the center. I'm sure there's a better tool for this, but if there is, I don't have it. So it should be as simple as releasing those two clips. and pushing it straight on. Now it looks to me that the new ones have a little clip here and two slots on the top and I should just be able to push that lever up with my uh, Milwaukee screwdriver. Wink wink. So if I simply get under there This is not working. Maybe there's a better way. So I should just be able to use a flathead screwdriver and unclip from the mounting point just there. If I shimmy that up. That went flying. And that should be enough to Remove that. Check the other side as well. It didn't look glamorous, but it was effective. So essentially, there's two clips that sit, one clip that sits across here, and one clip that sits across here. And you can, well, leverage a screwdriver to, to lift that clip up and then pull that clip out. And that's the only thing securing it in there is that clip, essentially. 
So to put the new one in, it should just be the opposite. Let's try. So by leveraging it up slightly, you can see I've uh, just pushed it ever so slightly in the top there. I did not want to do that because that went flying. Now I've got to go find it. I'll be back. Well, that was a, an odd exchange of events, but I found the clip. So, ideally, oh, this is going to be a mission to reinsert this clip. You know, the worst thing about this is if I actually make a mess of this and get it wrong. These are the last two in Australia. All right, we are back on. Make sure I don't get this backwards now. But surely it should just be... Oh, I thought I had it backwards already. Stay with me, folks. I know this is painful, but... <sighs> now I want secure. in position you'd imagine would just be as simple as that clip falling into place which is in and that is possibly the hardest way to change a bonnet strut from someone who's never done one Does it look right? I don't know. Is it going to work? We're about to find out. Now, I guess I should do the other one before I uh, keep pushing forward and test. It's staying up. Maybe, just maybe, I've actually done it right. I'm still going to put it on the other side anyway to be sure. Now, just as before, removing the two clips. Maybe I could use a pick to be easier. Nope, not easier. Maybe a smaller screwdriver. I'll be back. Didn't have to go far because it was already in my pocket from doing the other one. And there we have it. This one has also been removed. So again, just taking those two clips, releasing it from the inside of the, uh, the socket there. Time for a new one. Again, stabilis bar from Repco. 
Uh, Australian made, I believe. Australian made. Never would have thought. Packaging, 101. Now, let's see, this time if I can be a bit more careful. I probably won't be though, because I won't learn. So far, so good. Perfect. All right, once again, possibly the most painful way you've ever seen someone do this. I have three screwdrivers. Well, two screwdrivers and a pick. And now for the grand reveal. You can take off the... Uh... It looks like, just looks like that maybe just maybe I've pulled this off. The alligator test, it's not smashing my head. Oh. It does still drop quite fast at the end there. Well, amazingly enough, I've managed to change some bonnet struts. Probably the most painful way you've ever seen someone do it. Again, stabilis, stabilis. Again, got these off Repco OEM fitment. They were the last two on the Repco portal, 0596 PK. I think they're about 30 bucks each from memory. Um, pretty straightforward, well, it's meant to be straightforward, but not for me. Uh, a couple of, one clip on each end, clip out, clip in, and it's really a two minute job that I made look really, really difficult. Now, one thing you don't see a lot is my toolbox. The Milwaukee toolbox. Uh, gotta keep it neat, gotta keep it organized. No, this is not sponsored. This is just the toolbox of choice. Uh, everything. Everything we need is in here, available. Uh, multiple tools, multiple Milwaukee tools. As you know, when it comes to tools, it's probably personal choice. Uh, King Chrome, Milwaukee, Snap-on, a um, bunch of different brands you can choose. Uh, but it's a big investment, and uh, Milwaukee's the one I chose. So, Milwaukee, if you're out there, reach out to your man. So, that is how you change bonnet struts. Well, that is how you attempt to change bonnet struts on a Porsche Boxster. Next video, we're going to try and install the new rooftop. Uh, that's going to be interesting and we should have the uh, the mechanism the window regulator and motor ready to install back in we'll get that window working and then we should have a functioning driving Porsche Boxster uh, and then again next project wheels tires uh, take it to get the dents removed and get that wrap installed and uh, get this thing rocking down the road so there you have it 
So there you have it, a little bit of progress on the Porsche Boxster. Uh, next couple of days that rooftop will be here and we'll go through that. And uh, judging by how painful it was to watch me do bonnet struts, you could imagine how painful it's going to be to watch me attempt to put a convertible rooftop on a Porsche Boxster. See you next video.